الهدف من الهدف من هاد الليسنز هادو من الانترودكتوري ليسنز هما كنحطوكم في واحد كنحطوكم في السكوب نتاع البروبليم وكنحاولوا نعرفوا شنو كتعرفوا نتوما ديجا على البروبليم ات ويل بي نايس ات ويل بي نايس ان الواحد يكون فور اس صراحه باش كنكونوا كنميك يو بلانز فور الكونتنت اللي غيتحطوا الكونتنت اللي ما يتحطش فور افري ليسن نحنا نعرفوكم شنو كتعرفوا ديجا على التوبيك باش اذا كنتو شي حاجه مثلا كلكم كتعرفوها ذير از نو نيد ان حنا نعاودو نزيدوها ولا كنتو شي حاجه كاملين وي اسيوم انكم كتعرفوها وصدقتوها الاغلبيه فيكم ما كيعرفهاش اتس جود ان حنا نزيدوها سو فور انتراكتيف ليسنز ويد لايك تو هير مور فروم يو ذن انكم تسمعوا من عندي انا ذير ويل بي لايك فرذر في الويكس اللي جايين غيكون مور اكسبكت هضره اكثر من عند الانستراكتورز Instruct, uh, expect like more detailed discussions with like, more detailed presentations about like specific topics. I like the introductory introductory um, sessions for all just for us to understand. Finrakum, right? So feel free to come to. I'll have like a couple of questions. I don't have any even a lot of slides. غير حاول غير حط كم في الكونتكست نتاع شنو غنديرو شو الحوايج اللي غنحاول نكوفريو في هاد eight weeks. على على كومبايلرز ونحاولوا نقولوا ونحاولوا نفهموا علاش وات ذا هيل ار وي اكشلي دوين هير وعلاش علاش علاش كنقراو هادشي اوكي ام قبل ما قبل ما نمشي نشوف كاين شي ميساج انور ا نتورك ان افيلبل اوكي اوكي انور عنده ات كونيكت او دي كونيكت اي تراست دراك I remember you from last week. Uh, Aziz, am I, rock, am I recording? Yes, I am recording, but on OBS. Not recording for me due to uh, previous uh, issues. Okay. So, the agenda. Today, we're going to talk about how we're going to talk about the three questions. What is a compiler? Why is a compiler? Why the hell should I care? Um, فاش غينفعني هادشي؟ <hesitation> إذن أكاين لايك هاو؟ كي غنديرو نتعلمو هاد الكومبايلر؟ <hesitation> كي غنديرو نتعلمو هاو تيدو كومبايلرز؟ في هاد الأيت ويكس ولا سيفن ويكس اللي غيبقاو؟ أوكي؟ سو وات ذا هيل إز أ كومبايلر؟ إذا مشيتي سولتي ويكيبيديا أ كومبايلر إز أ كمبيوتر بروجرام ذات ترانسليتس كمبيوتر كود ريتن إن ون بروجرام إن لانجويج إنتو أنذر تارجت لانجويج رايت؟ The definition of is simple, but it's pretty much this, the one that I like the most. Uh, it's all about, and uh, you have a program that takes shihajam and that takes an input language, and that spits out a, uh, an output language, which is a, yet another target language. Well, then if I the definition of they never specified. Billy, it's a constraint. I love the source, love target. مع مرهم قالوا بلي السورس خصو يكون اسكي لو يتي يو تي اف 8 غير يكون سورس تصويره فور اول وي كان مرهم قالوا بلي بلي الاوتبوت شود بي ان ا ديفرنت لانجويج ذن ذا انبوت ويتش مينز يقدر يكون عندك واحد لانجويج اكس اند الكومبايلر كي كومبيلي وكي غادي يحطها في لانجويج اكس وي كان كول ذات ا كومبيليشن فور اول وي كان ما كايناش Well, we we could say how how use how much useful is this, and we can try and debate this. Or like in this doesn't uh, this doesn't say that really okay if I compile from X to X, this is not a compilation, and we'll see why. And we can say we can go to the target to be executed. For all we care, you can compile from one language to one language. Other than that, language other is not executed. You can compile with text. ولا يقدر يكون زيب ولا اني اذر لايك باينري فورمات ات دازنت ريلي ماتر ان 90% اوف ذا كيسز باش كنهضروا على كومبايلر وي ثينك اباوت تكست تو نيتيف باينريز اوكي سو شنو ما اكوردينغ تو هاد الهضره التخربيق هذا كامل اللي قلت دابا And what do you think are example of comp- examples of compilers, of all the things that we can call compilers? Mm-hmm. 
الفستيات ديال الطرجابه طارق باسلي ااا واو شي واحد يزيد بيه وطارت انا اللي زيت اول كنت غنقول جوجل ترانسليت ويقول استاذ ديال الترجمه جوجل ترانسليت يا جوجل ترانسليت از ا كومبايلر يس يو كان ثينك اوف ات از ا كومبايلر ات ليست ماشي ما يقولوش بلي اتس ا كومبايلر ان ذا كانونيكال تيرمز بس ات دازنت ماتر يو كان ثينك اوف ات از ا كومبايلر هاو ابوت سمثينغ ايلس ا المهدي ام كان وي كول لايك سمثينغ ذات Compresses images, compiler. Process images. Uh, compresses them. Compresses them. Yes. Takes an image and spits out a. Yeah, you can think of it as a compiler. Anything that translates from one to another format, you can think of it as a compiler. Whether you ca- you can call it a compiler or not, that's another story. Like in here, now, in the garden, we know what's known the transformation phase. I think it's actually more more conventional. نقصنا الاكزامبلز اللي هما ماشي اللي هما نوت كونفنشنال اي وونت سمثينغ اللي هو مور كونفنشنال حمزه تايب سكريبت اور جي سي سي اي ثينك يا اي مين ذاتس اول حاجه لايك كلاسيكال كومبايلرز اور سلاش ترانسبايلرز نزار كاين سي بايثون ولا جافا سي كونفيرتيو نقول الكود البيت كود كاركت Correct. These are another form of compilers. Key compilation, key compilation, nature of executables, but key convert to a format where we can we know how to properly execute, unless somebody else that will execute. But yes, that's another compiler. Khalid. V8 to the browsers. Browsers. Yes, to some extent, browsers have JavaScript engines that they can run JavaScript basically, but Mm. Let me go back. Get back to that. I'll accept. I'll accept that. Maybe. Code formatting tools. Code formatting tools. Cool. That's that's another format that you can think of of compilers. Hey, we are we're sourcing the targets are the same. Right. Uh, as is. Interpreters. Was it considered as compilers or not? Hey, Charles, why not? Raw. So L D L. It's very hard to say, because in one hand they take the source language, they try and convert it into something, but that something never materializes. My market lack is spicy shi haja. So at the end of the day, kat lqa bille ke kat zatay shi haja, and he just directly executed. That the definition is a classic interpreter. Kat zatay ni like if we think about Python, and atay shi script magat kharish li shi entry magat kharish output. All that you'll give me, and I'll take a script and then you'll run it for me, which is the same thing that JavaScript can do. Like I give you a JavaScript, I give JavaScript to an engine, and the engine will run it. Uh, like I interpret the instructions, but it's not gonna do anything else. Has this been answered? Has this been answered? Anyone can. Uh huh. Well, transpilers questions, and then I'm just me. What has it been called? Gala Gala Humans. Humans. Oh shit. Well, I like it for some reason. I can ex- elaborate later, but well, I can go all, uh, through other questions as well. Yeah. So, okay, the question is that trans transpilers, transpilers had, I don't know much. Uh, I, I guess I have it as a, the example here. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but Babel is a transpiler. Tizmin, uh, one source, ulaman one version from a language, and then like you translate into another. Older version of a language. That's what a transpiler is. Ula, you try you take from one format that is not held about. If you try and run a transpiler, start have. I'm not sure if I'm context of JavaScript. I have no idea whether like this is applicable to anything else. But if you like an like an TypeScript, you can't really run TypeScript on the browser. You have to compile it into JavaScript and then run JavaScript. Um. Transpilation itself could be this compilation format, or that could be like from taking. How the browsers, for example, can back in, can't do share any newer versions of JavaScript or the spec of JavaScript. You'll have to translate JavaScript written in a higher, in a newer version to an older version, um, and that's 
what's the process of transpiration once maybe, every time? Maybe another example of transpilers on the panel, um, things that compilers speed onto C machine. It's just from another oh, from a high level. Yeah, the... it, it, they work. They work as a translation unit. Uh, then yeah. you take a program and then you'll translate it into something else that we know how to compile and run. Yeah. Uh, let me see. I'll open it here. Khalil. You are muted. Mm. Cla classic knowledge here, yeah, no. Python and JavaScript are interpreted languages. Now, wish, uh, as very in as um, interpreted languages, they would be very slow. What the main problem with interpreted languages is that they are slow, so they can be jitted. Uh, so Python and do. Uh, Python, uh, PyPy, Usinder, uh, these are JIT runtimes. So, for the interpreter, we can compi fast compile like some mm -hmm. hot path code. We had a kit compiled direct format, direct native um, 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 machine code. We can run a new instead of just uh, interpreting the AST or walking through the AST. We can like pick some nodes from that AST, like tree representation of the code, then we can compile them like they are hot. Hot in, th in this context means Billy can 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 run you have Python, I think C Python, Vanilla Python, it's compiled by Scott Uh It could be. Yeah. In line, I Which C Python key? That the C. Uh, C code or, uh, it just runs out of the box. Byte code. Really? Okay. I didn't know that Python had byte code. Uh, JavaScript email, so, uh, so, uh, Python. I, yeah, I know that Python actually gets compiled anyways. Um, I know this was more as it's out long say like it gets faster, like you mentioned why maybe. Uh, and you can even access you can probably even have pass a flag elaborated to produce a compiled output. Uh, instead of uh, just interpreting the lines. But this, I've read this long time ago. Anyways, this could, th th I'm not saying that this this is not the case. It could be. Uh, my knowledge of Python is very limited. Uh, uh, Python is a very slow language for all my use cases, so I don't know anything about it. I think the language is the only one that is interpreted in the modern Ruby. If you if you call Ruby modern, <laughs> that's a very big stretch. <laughs> <sighs> that's a bit uh, that's a bit of a stretch. But okay, uh, who am I to talk? Mazarkan uh, Ruby, so who knows? Uh, okay, any more questions about this? What I mean, I'm assuming you get the gist of what a compiler is. Everybody like used a compiler in the in the past, or like, uses a compiler daily. Uh, in one way or another, so that's not just to make sure really everybody knows what are we trying to build here. Um, so how do we like the 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 compiler is like a translator? You can think of it as a translator from one language to another. Kind of Zushi Hajam language X, and then we port it to language Y. And the language can be anything. Um, you can spit. Assembly instructions, or they can spit, you can compile your language to JavaScript if that works for you. Um, and the cool thing about compilers is that why I sometimes need them, like uh, we can go from X to X, uh, which like you go through target, through this language is X, target language is X, and this doesn't sound so useful, um, but sometimes that could be. Useful, like in kind of like a compiler head of the arrow, they should perform optimizations. Like look at your code and then transform it in a way that is more optimized. You can take C code and run it through a, a, a C optimizer. We will it'll spit another file, which is yet another C code, but is more optimized to run better. 
it'll try to catch some common mistakes, some missing, um, like some unsafe bits and bobs that it knows how to fix, and then it'll produce, produce, produce it as output. Uh, سون قدروا نعتبروا ذاك البروسيس ديال الاغريفاي ولا تري شيكين اللي كيدار فاش كنبغيو نبيل جو حتى هو كايند اوف كومبايلر كومبايلينغ يس يو كان اول ذيس بروسيسز كان بي كونسيدرد از ا از ا كومبيليشن فيز ناو لاندوستري اون جينيرال اف يو وانت كول سمثينغ كومبايل اف يو وانت سي سمثينغ ات كومبايلز مينلي كي كونسيديريو هيت كومبايلز اف ات Like if like the property one which is like translate from language from one language to another um, as the main kind of thing to, to identify a compiler. Uh, while Salah and I think believe like mental model is more important than like if you think about things in a certain way, um, you can look at things and then they, you could call them to today however you want. Uh, but generally a uh, compiler is usually called a compiler when it actually performs the translation and then we have like specific names for things that does like say the uh, we have the formatter we don't really call it a compiler we just call it a formatter because like it, it performs formatting um but in essence it just it needs to parse your code and understand it and then spit out like new code that's potentially different than the source code Which is by design to me and to, and to our compiler. Um, okay, uh, point three was like transform and optimize. We can transform and we can optimize, uh, which means like we can remove code. And if you have, if I give an uh, like example that, that that C code, if I have some C code that is not optimized, I can optimize that. I can then to program like optimize that C code, or I could find uh, and fix problems in that C code. Um, um, And it can sometimes like find dead code by performing like static analysis. Okay, I have a bunch of functions that I never call and I never use. All right, and then I'll spit out like some C code that it doesn't have them. Right, and that's also a form of like compilation. Some compilers would do this on the fly when they want to produce a binary, but you can have this step outside the binary. Uh, I see a hand, uh, Reda. لا لا غير بقات مقبله سوري بقات مقبله اوكي فاين اي اني كويستشنز اباوت حتى لهنا اي اوكي ام اكزامبلز اوف كومبايلرز كيما قلنا كاين سي ان سي بلس بلس كومبايلرز ويتش كومبايل تو نيتيف كود Um, we have uh, uh, Babel, which compiles to the same language, although in a different format. Um, then we have like Java as the example that something that compiles to an intermediate representation. Um, so we can compare it with source to a bytecode, which that bytecode is supposed to be run by something else. Uh, actually, I guess like we covered already. Okay. Uh, why? Do we want to do this, right? Uh, for the for the main part, because it's fun. Most people that I know that still do compilers, they do it for fun. Nobody's getting paid to do compilers anymore, because it's a problem that is properly solved. We know how to do it. Like in sixteen elf language for the alam, so do sixteen them in them hobbyists, people that wanted to write a programming language for fun. So that's why I'm I'm doing the fun twice here. If it's not fun, nobody's going to do it. Nobody's going to pay you to do a compiler. Um, the second part, who, uh, like by writing a compiler, your programming language, whatever it is, whatever it is on the inside out. By writing the thing, why some things that are the way they are in your own favorite programming language. Why is this thing, why is this feature exist? Why that feature doesn't exist? It's because of a lot of things. One of them is maybe you will, you will find in while designing your own programming language. So understanding the programming language uh, from the inside gives you like more access into understanding how to optimize pro programs written in that 
target language. So in that case, I want to write my own compiler. And then you go all the way into like understanding programming languages better. And white being able to optimize and understand programming uh, pro like programs written in my favorite programming language. So this is a nice outcome that we have. And then also like, algorithms and data structures, you never get to use them at all. Like for the again, like it's 90% of the time, you never have to touch a, to write a proper algorithm or write a, a proper data structure. A compiler is a good way of like, for anything that you will be paid for. Again, for majority of cases. Compilers are one of those things that let you apply that knowledge in something here practical. Like you'll get to do everything. Standard algorithms, like fancy algorithms. Uh, you'll do fancy data structures, small data structures. Um, as is. Yeah, so... so uh, the main purpose is to translate from one, yeah, from one, like, uh, source to target, depends, mm -hmm. yeah, and you have, like, a lot of steps maybe in the, in the middle, yeah, they can see it's mostly fun that we, like, people write compilers mostly for fun, mm -hmm. I have a statement to my house, like, what, what do you think about it, mm -hmm. so, would you say that, um, People, for like yes, I agree. Believe we had maybe more additional years to compile that from the start to the end. Well, like in many of the stuff, or uh, the techniques that we use in compilers, or uh, some parts of the compilers, people still touch uh, regularly. Not necessarily for fun, but they do it sometimes at all. Could be for business reason, or it could be just uh, uh, because they have a, they have a proper reason for it. Maybe optimization, maybe you need to just write a parser, maybe you just need to write a lexer, maybe you just need to write one part with the, uh, to optimize or to do some techniques has a compilation in general. Yeah, so that's kind of the third, let's get into my third point, which is writing a compiler is different Never, nobody's gonna pay you to write a compiler, but I can people would pay you to if you have compiler um, writing techniques. Which means, and the, like, if, when you write a compiler, you learn a bunch of crap. And there are a lot of jobs that we will require you like to do some things that has to do with compiler. compiler, there are a lot of text mangling, right? So, I don't know. Um, a lot of open source software is like linters, formatters. Like, you know, there are like very big um, open source projects that lint a given programming language. Like, discover the issue and write lints for it. To write a linter, compiler techniques, compiler writing techniques. You should be able to read parse code. You should be able to teach that code to understand and match against like specific patterns. You have a rule engine that you um, inside the tool and you need to teach it how to fix it and how to transform whatever um, tree that you're working under. So some of these some of these techniques you wouldn't be able to actually learn unless you write a compiler. Well, at least learn about writing compilers. But the is really kind of extra uh, that you probably get uh, when writing a compiler. Um, you can uh, um, config generators, like if you've written, um, I don't know if you actually open source. Is this because I actually open source could be a config generation? Not on top of my head, sorry. Anyways, um, a config generator basically would allow you in next to the uh, to have people, but it will generate like JSON. And you'll be able to package your configuration in a very small form factor. And then you can compile that specific bit of uh, thing that you shipped into a large, huge configuration that could be run on your beefy servers. Right. So as long as you can get it from point A, which is like the script, into like point B, which is the server, you can just run it there and then like generate a bunch of configuration. 
And these things are actually um, really nice, nicely made um, to be able to do. Like if you ever worked with um, something like an interface definition language or an IDL, like for the protobufs, the thrift, or anything else, like all these are like just nice tools to be able to. Like if you did like I don't is there a JSON schema thing that you can write? schema and then you can write a compiler for that schema to generate cli proper clients غير من schema تخيل عندك open API spec that describes your API inputs and outputs you can write a compiler that generates like Java code or C++ code or whatever code you want just to spit uh, clients the proper um, retry um, uh, error handling ret retry mechanisms uh, for that specific API just run the compiler and the spec, you can run the compiler, you have the proper client. Same that we actually do with like thrift, you actually can do with protobufs, you actually can do with uh, any uh, tool you get your ideals. What I'm trying to say here is that there are a lot of things that only will be only possible if you learned about compilers or that you did some compiler work before because the, to be able to do that work, like if you worked in any div, like she company like their dev tools. Think of any dev tool environment. Liu ma matan ambas te sa tskumbra auto complete. Their plugin. He he came the compiler of the programming languages core, and then came the zemzet hoj le darim bio. The gado kun nas matan like te gumke xmuj ajo le bayarab the programming language itself, which are far more people like kun involved tooling than the actual language core. هذوك الناس هذوك يعني should have some compiler knowledge. حقاش كي يخدموا some sort of API. سواء language كي expose a plugin mechanism. سواء خصو يصاوب like I want to contribute to the the way we build the program. I want to contribute to the standard library of the program. I want to contribute to the tooling around the program. Like كي ندير I want to speed up auto complete في في واحد language. How would I go about the windows? إذا ما كنتيش كتعرف like how a compiler works, you can't really speed it speed it up. And you will come, and there will come times. There are a lot of actual jobs. Like if you're doing dev tools, speed up this, uh, optimize that, uh, write a tool to generate this or generate that. What uh, you can do around programming and around developers. Developers write code, so you need to understand how code is actually written, how is it parsed, compiled, and around. And also, like one of the again, like side benefits into Compilers is that you get to interact with the machine and the operating systems. So while writing a compiler that actually generates machine code, you understand better can, how, how our program is structured. How do we access memory? How do we request memory? Uh, how do we, uh, how does the CPU actually works? Um, how, does, how does this, my binary will interact with the operating system? How can I make it more optimized? What do you do? If you didn't do it, do them through doing compilers, you can read about them, but they will be very abstract. You've never had to use them. You never have actual deep understanding of them. Okay, I I guess we have to touch on Do you have any any questions about such Let's see. Fake code generator. <laughs> I didn't really get the spec to code thing. What's the term you said? Fake code generator. I didn't say fake. I just said code generator. Um, and the spec to code thing. click on API spec, which is like it's any spec. I don't know the name of the formats. I know there is an open API spec, uh, which is a way to describe REST endpoints. Now, the and the مشكل مشكل هو عندنا بزاف عندنا واحد الاي بي عندنا بزاف تاع البروجرامي لانجويجز عندنا كلاينتس بسي بلس بلس عندنا كلاينتس بجافا عندنا كلاينتس بمارشنو and we want to be and we want a way to standardize the way we call هذيك الاي بي اي the way to standardize api is um, basically like write handwritten clients for every major programming language or you can do this in another way which is 
write the generator, like a Karawi fem shlook you didn't expect, and the code itself, like a genera for every programming language, could be very easily generated. So anybody who wants to mount any new open API spec, but she read that the API specifically, like I'm writing code, read that the API, I can make the the clients for every new version of the open API spec run one command, which is that compiler, when generic all clients possible to be used in code. Does this example make sense? If it doesn't make sense, I have to give you a link. If it, 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 okay, you said it makes sense, but like to understand this better, you won't under, this doesn't click unless you use like she has a, she, she interface definition language before. So if you look at Thrift, uh, Apache Thrift, that you used uh, proto buffs, protocol buffers, you would know this is the standard model. Fash and the system li heterogen, basically and the present microservices and camlin. You can't really make client sustainably, like proper client, if you have the embedded logic, and the entrepreneurs can be able to embed logic about calling conventions, maybe not some can be. The way you usually do this, the companies do this, is like use something like protobufs. And to determine to identify the service there with a prot, with a dot proto file, which is like a message then i the, the proper term is an ideal is an interface definition language he should be sure we like you write structs and services and if you have methods that should had spec and you just compile it into any language you you have a protocol protobuf compiler you can compile it into any language bridge and then you can talk to a to apis should APM Ksuba go, APM Ksuba Java, Jujul code Likat Hadarbi Hum Mabadiatum Generi. Client and server code Jujum Generi, that protocol definition file. Hachi Adam Shimuim, Mohemo and now Hanaks been a respects reward, who was in a random Zadilko. All right, any more questions about this? on the proto file, let's go low, which which generally a C plus plus code, or which generally a Java code for this. Who are you doing? Hamza, welcome, uh, Swagger. Yeah, Swagger, I guess is uh, is another famous tool. But I guess Swagger does Rust. It does a uh, Rust Rust mainly for Rust API, Rust APIs, but the idea is the same. Land the spec that defines an API. I can generate a lot of that that stuff. Um, it gets very repe repetitive and it's very hard. And next, in bed, she rules it like all she, especially like an organization. Could be them, but I'm not sure enough and uh, to be able to do this. You know, let's I'll rewrite this from zero. You'll be able to do it if you know thing, a thing or two about compilers. This will sound and will look too hard. Okay. I'd so I like a sense of the compliment and good zephyr and the examples. But are there any more examples? Yeah, I didn't mention and you probably thought about which are like how to use, where can we use compiler technology? ولا دوك التكنيكس اللي غن تعلموهم as in the way of building a compiler فين كان تخيلونا كان خدموها التكنيكس I mentioned a bunch but here again she has a mess of emotion and it's actually it'll be nice
ولا بريك زعما صاينت واحد شويه ما يمشيش انا راني كنقرا اسمع لي راني كنقرا لا ليست نتاع كنشرو لا ليست شكون ما جاش اوكي شكون ما جاش هاد السيمانه ما سمعت اوكي شو كنت بغيت تقول صافي كنت بغيت تقول على عزيز يا واش مشيت ناخذ ديليفري انتو كتهضروا على هاد الكويستشن هادي يا 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 ولكن ما سمعتيش داكشي اللي قلت قبيله It's gonna be useless. Maybe, but can I want to say something? Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, um, maybe about the question. Maybe أحسن لا. This is the قبيلة ال واحد بارتي اللي كنتي مانشلي شيء. Like your third point, right? Compilers is not only about writing compilers, but also the techniques we can use to write compilers. Yeah. <laughs> but, for example, sometimes you just want to parse something, turn it into not necessarily another code. Objects, like example, for example, uh, the like the entrance, uh, like one of the tests, the entrance can to parse maybe like the like a math for a function. Yeah, you can uh, just can, can evaluate in the math. Expression. Yeah, evaluate in the math function. But I'm saying we have to add multiple stuff to it. We can. I want to plot it. I want to. Uh, and get derivative the error, I said, on something like this, very random. I'm saying, I should compiler camel, where can I will just be using, for example, some parts that really are very important in compilation, like uh, I'm bringing and like their uh, abstract syntax tree. So basically, I'm like, I'm going to say parser, I'm going to check your syntax data is correct or not. Then she, I'm going to hold her into objects so I can play. As much, as much as I can or I want with these objects. And this is why I say like uh, compiler technologies and techniques are very useful in many ways. We should start like with like some very stuff like the given on air, very stupid. I don't know, I'm just going to write the data that parts the functions. But I've, I've, I have had to do it in real life. That was like the most sim- something very similar. I mean, I actually talked about it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But she wrote like this compiler cam, but it can just, uh, Something, something into abstract syntax tree right? was really useful. But now I've had all the techniques and all the all the stuff. Clear for you. Okay, um, Khalil. Yeah. So, uh, blunt uh, compiler is knowledge. Like you barely understand the rhythm of everyday work. What you say with the DSL domain specific languages. But. كاين إن أنكدوت أن أش كتصايب دي إس إل كتلقى أنك كوغي خدمتي باللونكاج لي صايبتي لي دي إس إل هاني دي راس المهم كاين بزاف كي يخدمو دي دي إس إل باش تحاول يفهم كاين يو إكسباند شوية على شناهي دي إس إل فور بيبل هو دونت نو ولا دي إس إل إز دي إس إل المهم لابغيفياسيون سافو دير دومين سبيسيفيك لانجويج سي أن لونكاج لي كتحاول ت نسبيا تحاول تصوفي به شي بروبليم سبيسيفيك وما كتكونش فيه فليكسيبيليتي تاع كلاسيك بروغرامي لانجويجز يكون تارجيتد بروبليمز اللي كيصوفي زعما ليميتد يكون سامبل اونت بارونتيز حسب ليكسبيريونس ديال بنادم اللي سمعت كيخدموا دي اس ال كيبدا سامبل في الاخر كتولي في حريره كترجع له I've seen, I've seen it Sarah, in cases where uh, it's too hard to write things in a proper language. It'll become too hard. Well, it's usually presented to people who don't, don't know how to code, but they need to specify something. Um, I've seen it a lot used in uh, trading companies uh, where anal- analysts, potentially uh, uh, traders would have to support ولا انالايز الداتا ولكن ما كيعرفش سي بلس بلس ما كيعرفش بلوت ما كيعرفش كذا دي جيف ذيم لايك ا دي ميك ا سب سيت ولا ا سوبر ا سوبر سيت اوف ذا دي جيف ذيم لايك ا لانجويج تخيلوا انتم بحال سوبر سيت تاع بايثون كي يعطوك شويه من بايثون دي ويل جيف يو لايك ا 2 اور كورس ذيس از هاو يو شود يوز ات اند ذيس از هاو بيبل اند اب لايك رايتين ثينجز رايتين كوماندز لايك ذيس تو اند اب بين ابل تو ريد داتا ولا بين ابل تو بلوت داتا ان ديفرنت وايز ولا بين تو ابل تو لايك بيرفورم لايك هيفي كومبيوتيشن اون لايك distributed clusters without having to think about the computation itself. Let me tell him what's actually going on behind the scenes. So in a way to abstract away the complexity of a language, of how C++ or of how, I don't know, Python, they give them like a very 
نيش دي اس ال اي الافكار لايك ذا ثينك ذات اي ثينك اباوت موست از ان عمركم شفتوا مثلا تيرا فورم ام اتس ان اذر واي اوف ثينكينج اباوت لايك ا دومين سبيسيفيك لانجويج تو سيت اب انفراستراكشر لي عمركم خدم تيرا فورم لايك اف يو رايت ا تيرا فورم سكريبت اتس بيسيكلي جاست ا دي اس ال نوثينج ايلس اكزامبل اخر تاع دي اس ال سي بوش كوريكت اس كيو سي تي ان دي اس ال ام يس In a way, it's a query language. In a way, it's a domain-specific language because like, it, it only works for for, for databases. Yeah. Uh, here, I got like uh, this is how Terraform files are written. So yeah, Terraform is a good example. Uh, using the JVM, and what got like and what makes them different than normal compilers? We will talk. We can talk about JIT's JIT after afterwards. If Karnif had the question, let's see if there are any more questions. Let me see. Let me topic there. Uh, let me see who's next. Abd Hamid. I guess uh, uh, simply we can use uh, uh, compilers uh, knowledge to contribute in, for example, in open source compilers or engine version. Yes, you can. You can definitely need this information to contribute to interpreters and the compilers. Uh, but this is like of. Uh, I mean. It's expected, you know, contribute to the I mean, it's kind of expected for you to understand you know, my compilers and interpreters. Um, but yeah, it's a valid use case. Nizar? No, I have a topic till DSL. Uh-huh. From what I've heard, people in the world, often, like, for example, like, you're going to tell you about the DSL and problem specific. But I don't have to worry about the fact that you're going to tell you about the كالصغير مصايب واحد البروغرامينغ لانجويج اللي ماشي مزيانه في باغ اكزومبل بحال بيتون كاين الفيم سكريبت راه ماشي ماشي جود بروغرامينغ لانجويج ماشي اللي بغيتي تقول واش كتقول بلي بيتون ماشي جود بروغرامينغ لانجويج لا لا زعما غادي تصاوب بروغرامينغ لانجويج اللي ما زويناش بلس انك تخدم بدا على راسك نحل انا زعما دبر راسك الناس عزيز عليهم بيتون واش نقول لك غادي تصدق مصاوح بروغرامي لانجويج اللي ناقصينا فيتشرز بلاصه تخدم سكريبت لانجويج من الاول يا ذيس از ذيس هابند ا لوت ان ان هيستوري ولكن كيما قلت لك دي اس الز ار نوت سوبر اوبن يوجولي دي اس الز اللي غتلقى قلت لك راك شي حوايج اللي دايرين بحال تيرافورم ار ذا اكسبشن بيكوز ات وركس بيكوز دومين اللي كيحاولوا يسولفيو اللي هي سموت ليميتد دي اس الز اللي غتلقى بزاف ديال دي اس الز الى مشيتي للورلد كلوزد سورس سوفت وير Uh, I get like I shift shift with Zef trading companies, and I'm pretty sure he named Zef a lot of other domains, and mainly they are. He could the goal of them is to make simple few things that yes, like it would be super complex, or it would require a lot of inf- context and training to be able to do. So, I'm not sure. You have a problem. I'm not sure how to solve the language DSL to solve the problem that you have. Ideally, he could have Zef people with a problem, and they don't have the skills that you have. One of the ways to present the solution هي انك تعطيهم الدي اس تصاوب لهم دي اس ال اللي يقدروا يخدموها في شي راسهم يلقاو السولوشن لا بوحدك اتس كان اوف ا لي مهدي لا اي ثينك كيبر بروجيكت زوين اللي سميتو موجو سا سوبر سيت اوف بايثون اي ثينك ذا مين بيربس هو تو كرييت ال Compile things to Python. For example, uh, 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 on the, uh, some like, some like libraries, they they just want to learn what to see. They just want to create a layer of the native class of Python, but they just want to make it simple. So, I'm just just trying to create classes that are going to be able to see. But just for us, it's a super set of Python, just to Python, and then you can def, uh, do some type hinting. اللي هو تي كونسيديرهم سو دي كان كومبايل ثينكس تو بايت كود اند ذيس از ذا لاك ان ويت سي زعما اوبشن اللي كاين في بايثون حيتاش دي كان جاست اد زعما كومبايل ثينكس تو ااا لاك ماشين كود هادوم تايب بنت داكشي اللي يخدم به موجود باش باش سميتو تي كومبايل زعما البايثون بروجيكت تو بايند ذيس يا ساوند بريتي جود عبد الرحمن قال لكم جرين مارل ايش كلوز سورس ستاف هذه اوراكل هادشي از ات اوبن دي دي اوبن سورس ات عبد الرحمن انك تيجي تهضر 
وي ات از اوبن فور يوز اور زعما باش تستعملها ولكن مش ما كنظنش انه اوبن سورس وكتخدمها على على جراف داير بيز داير وياك اه ايه اني ويس اي نيو ا جار اي نيو ا جاي اللي كان خدام على كان خدام على جرين بارد ترى ايت ا نايس ايديا صراحه از از انا از ايديا صح اه اوكي اني مور اكزامبلز ايدياز كول بروجيكتس اللي كتعرفوهم كي از دي اس از بيبل منشن اوكي انا مشي لاخر سلايد اي جيس اخر سلايد اخر سلايد هاو ذا هيل دو وي ميك كومبايلرز سو كيما قلت لكم بيبل هاف بين ميكين كومبايلرز فور ديكيدز سو ما بقيناش كنخترعوا شي حاجه ذير از دابا ما كاينينش 20 واي تو ميك ا كومبايلر بيبل يوزولي جو ثرو ا كابل اوف ستيبس ايفن سم ستيبس ار سكيب ناو اي جيس باش نهضروا على باش نوصل لاوبتيمايزيشنز و كود جينيريشن ويل توك اباوت لايك تول تشينز اللي كاينين دابا اللي غيحيدوا عليك ذاك اللي غي غيعطوك 20 عام ديال الريسيرش جاست فور يو تو يوز واش ما ديرهاش انت بيديك So that is assuming you were serious about like building and distributing um, your your code to a bunch of platforms. So generally, uh, steps you can had had steps had or like some steps can be merged into the same step. I have the use case there, but yeah, but usually they can end the collector, a parser, right? Collector, because we're talking source of tokens. When I brought this session with you. And we'll talk about a parser that moves you from tokens to abstract syntax tree. Then you have an analyzer and a tra- transformer. These are things that perform like type checking, semantic analysis. Um, um, uh, they construct data flow and control flow graphs. And then you have like your optimizer, which runs uh, the, the, uh, a lot of passes that transform your AST, knowing some things about the data flow graph and the uh, control flow graphs. They can take your AST and then change it to make it nicer and to make it like easier uh, to to deal with and to gen- generate code for then you have an emitter the key that takes your ast and generates like proper machine code for the specified platform now in essence had she said in essence in theory this is very easy uh, understandable in practice this is super freaking hard خير معايا انت كتبغي قلنا لك تصاوبنا بروجرامينغ لانجويج دو يو نو هاو ماني بلاتفورمز اند ماشين كومبينيشنز كاينين دابا تو بي ايبل تو جينيريت كود فور ايتش اند افري وان اوف ذيم ايت سوبر فريكين هارد ما كاين بزاف نتاع الكومبينيشنز اوف ماشينز اند بلاتفورمز تو بي ايبل وير لايك سم انستراكشنز وود ورك اون ذيس سم انستراكشنز وود ورك اون ذيس سم اوبتيمايزيشنز غيخدمو هنا سم اوبتيمايزيشنز وود بي ايبل تو ورك اون ذيس بيكوز لايك ذات سبيسيفيك موديل اوف ذا سي بي يو ذات هاز بين ديزاين ان ذا 90s doesn't support this uh, but and you need to be able to compile for it uh khalid yeah hey me can do a plan set platforms had this thing as in the middle that the platform will be cpus or operating systems or bjur computers i guess what we care about when i say platform i care about the architecture um is it like an arm uh, amd x86 has a اش كنقولوا بروجرام لانجويج كروس بلاتفورم كاين وانا كي سبورتي بزاف ديال لي زاركتيكتور ديال السي بي يوز از بين كي يقدر يتكومبيل بزاف نتاع البلاتفورمز يس وي كان جينيريت باينريز فور اول اوف ذم اوكي عندي واحد كيستيون ريليتد لهذا الشيء من عندنا مثلا سي با سي بلاس بلاس كروس بلاتفورم عندنا كومبايلر ويندوز ولينكس ياب قلنا السي بي يوز ديفرنت سي بي يوز اش مثلا كتشي بروجرام Yeah, available for Windows. Uh, program, maybe. I mean, there are a lot of reasons. Hit. If you just say program, you can't say that compiler is available for Windows. You can't say that program is available for Windows. For example, I just call the browsers available. The browsers are mostly C++. Okay. They're available for Linux, Windows. Oh yeah, that's Mac. a different problem because like they depend on shared libraries. They only provided by Mac OS, or not only by Windows. Mm, so, that, that that more is of a platform thing. Libraries provided by the operating system are closed source. Can in Rif Windows. How the problem is, you know, for example, Navigator, for example, Arc. They only have a macOS version because, like, they wrote it for macOS. 
So they depended on a lot of crap that comes from macOS. But again, if they wanted to make it available for Windows, they have to find alternatives to the libraries that they wrote in macOS. Yeah. Okay, so cross-platform machine is the code or compiler? No, for a compiler, nowadays, for a compiler to become cross-platform is much easier than it was like 20 years ago. Like you had to do like, um, if you want, well, can you just tell me, okay, I want to make it cross-platform and what everybody expects nowadays, I want to make it cross-platform and I want to make it fast. So to, to make it cross-platform and fast is hard. Nowadays, it's not so hard. And a lot of tooling that will help you with this. Like they can allow you to make very fast interpreters. Um, tools like Truffle. Well, uh, you can use LLVM. Uh, as the target platform, you can just compile to LLVM IR and then just run it, do the generation for you. Uh, you look at, like LLVM will do the optimization, L will do the code, native binary uh, generation for you. So uh, you can't really write it on your own. Like, very, very, like, new, like, 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 First, what are the two hottest like programming languages? Deba. Uh, it's the most used. Or, uh, I mean, high. Uh, let's say that the hottest ones are maybe Zig and Rust. Yeah. Are the most things that you'll hear about, and these two like didn't write their compilers. There's yeah. no uh, way yeah. they perfect. I'm the researcher. I would be zero. There is no value in knowing how to do how to do that can research lead that into optimizing optimizing code and instructions for specific CPUs. If you can have CPU head, did head head instruction قبل من هذه. If you can have platform of had of had CPU um, architecture, like just switch the order, like prevent order switching because we've seen benchmark like ten years ago that, that this doesn't really work with them. To to be able to do this, we, it'll take them like another twenty years. So it's not they don't take it back away. That whatever infrastructure can it will. We'll provide value in the, what we call a compiler front end, which is like a had analyzer, transformer, or whatever, which is where they implemented like borrow check in and like uh, user space allocation and whatnot. And then LLVM, the back end to optimize the general code. And then you're kind of guaranteed to some extent you'll be as fast as C, right? You'll be as fast as Clang, basically. So if you, if you compile, to you through LLVM, you're you're getting like decent performance. No matter you have, no to optimize your work. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah. Um. Has this one I I can tell you too, but I don't know. I was actually double checking or fact checking. Sure. Fact checking. Yes. Has it any relation with the difficulty of like having things that runs on multiple uh, platforms? One of the most recent things that happened can in vulnerability the rust on Windows. Uh, yeah, I think I think it was mostly related to the API that is provided by Rust. Marks if it goes to the compiler level, we we'll love. Uh, I know it's for environment dev dev environment the Rust, where the API that they provide can have a very big vulnerability just. Because of the way that Windows parses like the arguments via the command, uh, they can allow it to, to run other commands. So this is like one of the other things. The one you try to um, platforms, machine CPUs. Uh, well, uh, CPUs. It's still uh, yeah. So of course, in the platforms. <laughs> Yeah, that's the context. Because I'm sure it's a platform, it's a machine CPU architecture. Okay, so platform, it's going to go platform, CPU. I just said platform, I meant CPU architecture. I know. I was talking about x86, AMD. Who offered the best platform? I know the other ones. Operating systems, yeah. Okay, so. Nezar? I can follow with development deal, Zig. Tell the book, he rendered the uh, IR instructions the LLVM. He will do the work completely. Uh, what are you going to say? I'm going to understand how to work with the compiler. I mean, well, yeah. well, the compiler is probably going to work with the compiler. It's 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 going to work with the compiler. It
ما كي اسكيبيوش زعما الارغومنتس ديال اللي كتباسي ليه في كوماند لاين غير باش تبين ان باش انك كتخدم الويندوز وتخدم هذا راه صعيبه راه كل بلاتفورم على القواعد ديالها ويندوز داكشي اللي كتعرفوش كيفاش تصلح مصاوب Yeah, that was exactly like the point that I was trying to make them all. So, yeah, Windows can be a winter issue. What can I do? Because it's not good. API dialog is not closed source. I'm not going to. I'm not going to Windows expert or being a fat guy. Can I help you? 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 Uh, okay. Any question about how to pray for the legend of the car? It's I guess it kind of matters in a way that. هنا الهدف ديالنا في الاخر هو نعرفوا شنو كيدار في كل ستيب من هذا. في الاخر ديال الكورس we want to have an understanding شنو كيوقع في كل ستيب. Sometimes we'll write code. Sometimes we won't write code, but we'll look at code that is written by other people. But the whole idea, the whole selling point, هو إحنا غنشوف which had steps that we can use now and how to find which one works. Ash kid there now, shun kid there now, shun kid there now, shun kid there now, and hopefully with the exercises with the project and the community, you'll be able to piece it together and then form a mental model there. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's at na seven minutes. For the allotted time, usually I, I we can go over. Well, I can had not had a, specifically, but I did want to go over. These are introductory uh, things. You know, I, I had eight slides literally. Can end the word of I just wanted us to talk. I just know less less space in general. So, all right. So, in the no more questions. Uh, what I suggest that we do, we will stop here. Uh, we'll take a five minute uh, break. And then please join the other call, the other calendar link after five minutes. Just join the other call. And then we can move on to the introduction to distributed systems. Like, okay?